How is it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to show you the best way to transfer all your data including WhatsApp from your Android to your new iPhone. So if you are an Android user and you just got a new iPhone, I'm going to help you out because in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to transfer everything from here to here, including your photos, your videos, your contacts, your calendars, your messages, and even a ton of compatible apps like, as I said, WhatsApp. And it does get even better because you won't need a computer for this process and it's completely wireless. So it's super convenient. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so for this transfer process, we're gonna use this app right here called Mobile Trends, as you're seeing right there. You'll be able to get it easily from the Play Store. So you go ahead and open it up and then you search for Mobile Trends, as you can see right here. And that's the app, Data Transfer Mobile Trends from Wondershare, as you can see right here. You can already go ahead and download and install it. And then, of course, we can already start using the application. That's how it looks like. And I know many of you guys are going to say, OK, Daniel, but why don't you use Move to iOS, which is from Apple? And that's the thing. Move to iOS is good, but it has limitations, including the fact that in order to transfer from Android to iPhone using Move to iOS, you actually need to reset your iPhone to restore it to factory settings. You wouldn't be able to transfer it like you see right here on a fully working iPhone. No, 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 you have to factory reset and this is so annoying using Move to iOS. On top of that, Move to iOS is incompatible with WhatsApp transfer and for many, many people, it's such a huge deal. So that's why I recommend that you use mobile trends for this transfer because it just works better and it's more compatible and complete. All right. OK, so on our very first page, we've got here phone transfer, as you can see, phone transfer right there and we can already get started. So go ahead here and tap phone to phone. That's exactly what we want. Right. And we have to tell which phone this is. This is the old phone. So this is the phone with the information that we want to transfer to the new phone. Right. So you can go ahead and go for old phone, then which device to send data to. So we're going to choose iPhone because we're going to transfer to an iPhone. So tap on iPhone right here. And then what kind of data transfer we want to use. We're going to go for basic data. You will see that it's not basic at all. So as you can see right here, we've got a ton of data that we will transfer. So photos, videos, music, documents, contacts, apps in calendars. I just don't have any calendar events right here. So that's why it says zero, but it's compatible with calendars as well. And if we tap on apps, as you can see, take a look at how many apps and the amount of data that mobile trends will actually transfer to the iPhone way more compatible, including as you can see, WhatsApp. So this is so, so nice. Let's come back right here and then let's go ahead and tap on send. Of course, before that, you can go ahead and take a look at the estimated time and also the size of the data. As you can see, I don't have a bunch of stuff here, just have a few files. So just one gigabyte for you if you have dozens or even hundreds of gigabytes. So that will influence on the estimated time right here, as well as your Internet speed. On top of that, super important, make sure you have enough storage on the new device, so on the iPhone to actually receive this amount of data. OK, so it's important that your iPhone has enough storage. Of course, if it doesn't, you can manage right here what you want to send. OK, so let's go ahead and tap on send. As you can see, uh, we will have to permit a few things. So Wi-Fi permissions allow, as you can see. So go ahead and allow right here. You can come back, as you can see, location services as well. So allow for while using the app and nearby devices as well. Naturally, we're going to need that because of this wireless transferring. So allow as well. So all good, all checked. We can go ahead and tap on next. And then right here, as you can see, connect to phone. And that's the part where I'm going to scan on this phone this QR code so then they can actually connect. All right. So let's do that right now. OK, so on the iPhone, go ahead and open up the App Store, go to search and naturally go for mobile trends. Right. So just like we did on the Android, so mobile trends. So we're going to search for that. Let it load, let it find. 
and then let's go ahead and download it right here so phone transfer mobile trans it's the exact same app but for ios so let's download it right here after it's installed let's go ahead and open it up and then we've got that very same page right here we're gonna go for phone to phone once again but this time we're gonna make sure to tell mobile trends that this is the new phone not the old one so new phone as you can see and then we've got permissions once again let's go ahead and allow those in order for the transfer to be complete so camera so let's go ahead and allow let allow contacts and then of course allow full access allow and then let's go for calendars so it's the exact same thing right is since we're gonna write all of the data and information from android to our iphone we need to permit those access all right so let's go ahead and reminders so allow that as well and of course our photos so allow full access so then we'll be able to actually transfer and receive everything okay so tap on next as you can see and of course now we're gonna read the qr code of course it's gonna ask permission to find devices in the local network and that's how the transfer will be completed okay so allow as you can see and then if it asks for permission right here you're gonna need to go to settings but we have already done that with the pop-up so we can close that and then of course we can read the qr code remember the qr code we have on our android phone so let's go ahead here and read the qr code let's see if we can pick it up one second, I'm trying to align everything right here. And so there we go, we've got here, Mobile Trends wants to join the Wi-Fi network, that's it. So join, and then they're connecting. They're connecting just like that. It may take a few seconds for the QR code to read and everything else, but it's, it's just for this very first time and it just takes a few seconds, all right? And so as you can see, they're doing the thing. As I'm saying, as I'm talking to you, they're doing the thing, and as you can see, it's all done guys just like that it took like a few seconds actually so sent successfully here on the android received successfully right here on the iphone i can tap on done and then i'm good to go so let me go ahead and put my android to the side i don't need that anymore and let's actually take a look right here on the iphone just to check if we got all the Android data. So first, let's take a look at our photos because I'm sure that's probably one of the most important things, right? And this is my iPhone library, right? It has 34,000 items, so this is all the stuff I have on my iPhone, but let's see if we got the photos from the Android, originally from the Android. As you can see right here, I took a few sample photos today, right? So a watch, my Mac and right here, just uh, the view outside here, the studio. And as you can see, those are those photos right here. And they're actually placed perfectly in the perfect time, in the perfect date of when they were taken on the Android. I took this earlier today. I've got here the exact same watch right here and then the view and then the Mac. And as you can see, they are in a row right those four items right here they're here in a row and then i went to the gym and of course this photo right here was taken with this iphone so as you can see the photos and videos were actually imported naturally organically into my iphone as if it was a photo from my iphone in my photo library how amazing is that and as i said i didn't have to actually restore my iphone or anything like that same thing if we go ahead and take a look at our contacts so let's go ahead here quickly and just check a few like uh sample contacts that i have here on my android phone let's go ahead and take a look for this uh let's see this bill okay bill this contact right here so if i go for bill there we go it's Bill, it's right here. And of course, all my other 1000 plus contacts are also here on my iPhone and the information was just transferred exactly the way I wanted to. Of course, if you have a blank iPhone with no information at all and you wanna use mobile trans to transfer your data, no problem. Your iPhone will look just like what your Android used to look with the same data, same information, but of course, on your iPhone. All right, to wrap it up, as you can probably tell, Mobile Trends does require a subscription. So you will actually need to get a subscription in order to do this, to send your data successfully. And as you can see, it does work perfectly. So I do recommend that you go ahead and take a look at this special offer that Mobile Trends has right now. It's going on right now, and it's just 
amazing. So go ahead, don't waste any time and go ahead and subscribe to Mobile Trends in order to get your phone to phone transfer. And of course, if you wanna transfer WhatsApp, also get the WhatsApp package so you can go ahead and get both phone to phone and WhatsApp. Or if you just wanna transfer WhatsApp, Maybe you just need the WhatsApp package. Great, you'll save some cash, right? So go ahead, take advantage of this amazing sale that's going on right now, special offer, and get mobile trans so you'll be able to transfer all your stuff worry-free, no resetting, no factory settings necessary, including WhatsApp. You'll be able to transfer all your stuff from your Android to your iPhone, right? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.